Okay. So. The suggestion is that, that that like gel stuff in the heating pads that is the thing that generates the heat inside them. I'm going to call it warming compound. Um, okay, so they're super saturated liquid sodium acetate. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so we're talking some kind of chemical compound which is in a unnatural state where when you, when you set it off, it returns to its natural state and releases energy. Like it's a liquid, but it should be some kind of solid. And probably made out of cheap stuff. Okay. So, so, um... I am I am sorry that you are uh Oh. That's a funny coincidence. Uh like literally it's salt plus vinegar is just a very simple compound. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, super saturated solutions they're they're like that, aren't they? You need you if you give it any nucleation point then you're just SOL. Um okay. So we want something which is very much like a standard kind of material, except then it turns into then it turns into something else, which makes it but so you want something like a standard material, but which, like, gets... Huh. Okay. I don't see any... Like, just, just looking at the stuff I've written down, I don't see anything that seems like super... Like a starting place. Maybe... Let me build out distilled alcohol as it is so standard distilled alcohol in this game looks like this Um, so, like, that's, that's one kind of option, is to do it the way, is to do it that kind of way. I guess I could also do something with like a Vitae and Moore's pair where the pair is very close together and
salt doesn't... I don't know why they called it salt, because it's like 6,000 different things. Like, the way you purify... Like, there's a recipe in the game where it's like, you have this filthy river water that's completely undrinkable, and you purify it by just attaching a huge number of salt atoms to it, and the salt purifies it until it becomes just kind of funky tasting. Uh, yeah. Um, Life and Death and Heating Pads, the YA book about sexy skiing vampires. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, yeah I, I don't think the four elements, I don't think the elements in the game, other than the metals, I don't think they correspond to, like, stuff in reality and I try not to push it too hard I don't know I'm just sort of imagining here that these two things will if prompted cancel each other out and it will just sort of leave uh, some some oily residue uh, and, like, the way I have it set up, it's super easy if this stuff wiggles for these things to come together. It, it, that's kind of the idea I have in my head. The other idea I had... I'll, I'll go ahead and make a second product and we can delete whichever one we don't like. Is to have something with a triplex bond. This is, like, explosives. But, like, we maybe just sort of, like, contain the... Not try. That doesn't even make sense. Um, like contain the explosive in a bunch of salt, so it doesn't, so it can't actually really explode. It just sort of the energy comes out, but it doesn't come out in an explosive fashion. Um, because like it's such a tightly knit molecule. Yeah. Exothermic, but not explosive. So, like, the thing you said was, like, like, I'm sure that there's more than one way to kind of go at it. But, like, these are a couple things that I can think of where it's just, like, like, I think that this, there's a lot more mass than any kind of explosive stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, either of them are kind of... If both of them sound good to you, then what I'm going to go ahead and do is do the triplex bond one, because on stream we haven't done anything with fire and triplex bonds yet. So that seems like the way to go here. Uh, okay. But, like, that, that concept would also make a lot of sense. And it is canon in the game that there's more than one way to uh, get a problem solved. Um, like, I mean, obviously. Okay, so first of all, we have our fire. And then I'm going to give the player lots of salt. So if they want to optimize, they can, they can go and do lots of optimization. And we need a glyph of triplex bonding. And otherwise, we're good. We can bond, unbond... And then we need to be able to do the triplex bonds. It's just super interconnected, dense mess. Okay. So let's start with the triplex bond and then... Maybe we should do this assembly line style, like... Oh. Oh, now I'm thinking of trying to, try, trying to take a page out of the book of my friend Nate. Uh... Oh yeah, that, that, that would be, that would be, I think I know, like, how Nate would approach this, and I, I totally want to do that. Okay, um, alright. Okay, so over here, we are going to use arm one. This is absolutely not what Nate would do, but after this part, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to channel the spirit of Nate and 
infinite parallel gigantic rails because it's going to be hilarious. All right. Uh, okay. So, so we have that bond. Rotate it like this, and that gives us that bond. Rotate it a couple more times, that should give us all three bonds. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. This is going to be here. And this is just going to move right. Um. And salts are going to be bedecked around it. Um. Okay. No, that, that. Okay. 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 This is definitely not going full mate. But it is going at least partial mate. Um... Oh, there is someone who goes full Nate. And I think you can probably guess who it is, because it's Nate. Um, but yes, there's, there, there, there is. The full Nate does happen. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. Right. 
Alright. So. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not Nate. I do not have Nate's full power. Uh... Okay. I have gotten these two in the wrong order. I think. I think I want these. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's. Let's. All right. No, no. Uh, pistons, all pistons. Okay. Okay. So three needs to stretch after that rotate. means two can grab it uh, two steps earlier. Or not. Let's just do two afterwards. Or we'll do two here and three here. Okay. I, I'm glad that you're digging it. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Sorry, ignore, ignore my, my, my sounds of panic. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We're all good. It's all good. Um, okay. So I want to reproduce this setup on the far side uh. <sighs> okay well in that case do not ignore the panic enjoy the panic dwell in the panic
Um, okay. Beautiful. I, I, I've done something correctly. That's good. That's definitely good and not in any way a bad thing. All right. Um, that actually is good. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So now six should Ha! Timing is beautiful. All right. That's not move forward on the track. It should be push. All right. And that gives us a bunch of the center part of this whole of this whole machine. And it can get slid over. To pull in the rest of it. Right, there needs to be something dropping this blob on this end. And one of these arms can come back and drop... Or one of these arms can hang back and drop it on the other end. So let's say arm 4 returns to station... Arm four might not need the rack then, but the the slider. Uh, no, it. You do need to move the one square. Arm four returns to station. Arm five continues. Or arm arm. Two, is holding it like here, and it needs to move. Two squares to the right. Boop. Oh. And that needs to swing it. What am I doing? I'm not I'm not embodying the full spirit of the Nate. Um I will move three squares to the right. And then come back in to grab it. Oh, you never actually let go. You need to let go. What? Oh, stuff is looping. Stuff is looping on me. How rude. Right, one can loop, and that's fine. Why didn't those get bonded? Did this move too soon? What just... what? Okay. Okay, I need to examine this closely. Here is when it can start moving. So this is actually going to have to wait a couple ticks. Oh. 
doesn't actually need to go past that. Okay. So what is left is sneaking in What's left is sneaking in the last salt back here and taking the whole apparatus home. All right, all of the arms so far end with a return. Lars Gerhardt was never here. Everything is fine. <sighs> yeah. True words never spoken. Um. Okay. Let's just have a piston up here. That grabs a salt atom and pushes it forward twice. So extend, extend. So grab, extend, extend, and that is going to meet this at the exact moment it arrives. Um, actually, no. Let's have this show up here at the exact moment the other end arrives. And then... And then... It can, wait, no, it does go there somehow. Uh, right, so it moves one square to the minus, and then forward to here. Let me just go ahead and scoot all of this up. There. There. Now the criteria logo is in a nice place. Let's see what happens. Oh, dude, I, I need to actually tell Arm 7 to do that. Move one square back. And then one, two, three, four, five squares forward. And return. All right. If people want to look up the sketch we're referencing, it's a loading ready run sketch. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the, there's something really elegant about just the sliding across. Um, so, okay. Um, that is a correct spelling of Nate, by the way. Uh, right. Uh, 